this is the real Tom Rose, and they're asking you for the uh, the distance between two points. And uh, there's a formula for this called the distance formula, which takes as inputs uh, coordinate pairs, just like you've been given. And uh, you need to um, do one of two things. You either have to memorize the distance formula, which would be a totally viable strategy, or you need to understand where the distance formula comes from so that you can rebuild it. Personally, I can't remember formulas at all, so I'm always having to rebuild these. Um, so let me first tell you what the distance formula is. Um, it is uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. That's a terrible squared. And take the square root of all that, and that will equal the distance between two points. Um, so wh you know, where does that come from? Um, this comes from the Pythagorean theorem. So imagine that you've got yourself um, a coordinate plane here, and you've got two dots, and you want to know the distance between them, and you have a horizontal axis x and a vertical axis y, and uh, you want to know the distance between these two points? Well, one of the things that you can do is basically draw a right triangle between them, right? Where the hypotenuse is the is the uh, the line in between them, and that's the um, let's call that C. That's the distance you want to know. And you've got um, A. We'll call we'll call A the distance that you move on the horizontal axis or the x-axis, and B the distance you move on the vertical axis. Well, the distance you move on the horizontal axis is whatever the second x coordinate is minus the first. So if this is eight and this is two, um, we went six. And the vertical is again the second one. Suppose they're at five and we started at two, then the delta was three. So if you take three squared plus six squared, it should equal c squared. This is just the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, if you take the difference of those and take the square root of them, that gives you c, the distance. That is the distance formula right there. It's just the Pythagorean theorem. So that's how I remember it. So anyway, that was a long aside on how to calculate the distance formula. But So let's take x2, which is 7, minus x1, which is 0, plus y2, which is 0, and y1, which is negative 2, and square that. Take the square root of all of this, and what you end up with is 49 plus um, 2 squared is 4. So you end up with root 53, which doesn't simplify. So that's your answer.